Hello and welcome to Indie Crown, the show where I open a game and find its crowning achievements. Today we'll be looking at Puss, created by Team Coil. I can only best describe this game as someone opening up their iPhone for the first time, using the slide to unlock and being like, whoa, that's amazing. So the gist of the gameplay is, you use your mouse to guide the cat along this pathway, and if you mess up, the game makes this sound. So I start the game and enter World 1's first couple levels. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I mean, yeah, looks good to me. The entire time you're playing, your eyes are being succumbed to the wet dreams of a Tim and Eric writer, mixing the words cute, surreal, and demonic in a way I've never seen before. Well, almost. So, turns out this game is pretty hard. I die, and die, and die, until I happen to cross World 1-6. This is the peak of the game for me, for one reason and one reason only. Listen. Come on! From there, I'm doing pretty good clearing out my courses until I reach this level, and if you have epilepsy, here's your chance to turn back before it's too late. Who oh boy! It's like that episode of Pokemon that got banned because it gave too many kids seizures. Oh, and by the way, if you lose all your lives, it's game over and you're back to the beginning. Y'all seeing this cat in the middle? Yo, imagine having one of these in your front yard. Maybe as like a sprinkler or something. Property value goes up. That one looks like it needs to go fund me. So I finally make my way to the boss after many hardships, deaths, and haggling with Lucifer himself. I'm here. I walk up the unfolding pathway and I meet it by a group of cats LARPing as mages. Honestly, I have no idea what this boss is gonna be or even how you make a boss in an iPhone unlocking simulator, but I'm curious. Whoa! Okay, okay, not what I expected, but welcome nonetheless. So, the part I'm trying to wrap my head around is, what exact strand were the devs smoking when they created this game? You know, it reminds me of this one time I went on the dark web with a couple of friends to see what it was like, and I found a site where you could buy some strand of weed called Wonder Woman. Maybe they were on that. They take a hit every time they're trying to make a level. I wonder if it was like company policy. So you eat enough pal blocks and the second best part of the game occurs. Alright, no, watch this. Crazy, right? Dude. I absolutely love this game. All right, but uh, back to back to where we're doing. Yeah, I died immediately after that, and you know what that means. At least the levels are semi-random, so every time you go back, there's a little bit of variation. Also, the crossy road level could piss off. So I get back to the boss, beat the first phase, and this happens. Maybe that's enough puss for one day. Alright, so the crowning achievement is the one thing that this game has that no other game in the entirety of human existence will ever compete with. And the crowning achievement for puss is... Best Killer Chihuahua with Laser Eyes, who is also Cerberus, from Hell. Alright, so this was a lot of fun. Um, be sure to hit your boy up on Patreon if you want to get the unedited content for this one. Uh, thank you Almost Knight for being my first patron. Uh, I actually beat the Cerberus boss on stream. Uh, Twitch.tv slash become cubed, links in the description. And thank you guys for watching.
Come on!